Hello everyone, my name is Alex, welcome to my second Android tutorial for the Beginner's Android series. That sounded quite messed up actually. Anyway, alright, so in the last tutorial what we did was that we installed Java and Eclipse. Now, there's one last thing we need to install, that's the Android ADT. I don't think I'm entirely sure what it stands for, I think it is like Android... Um, tribal, not tribal, <laughs> Android, Android something something, at least, but it's, I, actually, a, Android development something, and, uh, it's used for developing Android applications, and in this tutorial, that's what we're going to download, so, if you open up Eclipse, you will see that it asks you for your workspace, this is where you have all of your files, where you're going to work, and we're just going to create a new one, so I'm going to make one, my, my, my workspace at the desktop. You can either browse to your desktop or you can just type it in here. I know that it's in the Alex fo folder or my user folder, then desktop, and then probably we're gonna call it like, I'm gonna call mine YouTube Android or something like that. I'm gonna hit OK and Eclipse will load up. Now this will take a little time, a little bit of time, and uh, if it's the first time you load it up, it will take a little extra time. Now this is the first time I'm loading loading this Eclipse up, so it will take a little bit of, of extra time. Uh, if you're on a slow computer, uh, in in the program, everything should work fine. Um, whoa. Buggy. Whoa, that's... Quite interesting. <laughs> um... Yeah, there we go. Alright, so I've now opened up Eclipse. Now, what Eclipse does is, as I said before, it allows us to develop code. Now, right now, as of now, we can just create the standard project. You can see we've got a lot of different projects. Even got the other folder here. Got Java projects here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to help here and install new software. We're going to install a plugin uh, called Android something. And now, as you can see, there is type or select a site. So we're going to go to our web browser, mine is Chrome again, and we're going to find the location for the Android ADT. So we're going to Google Android ADT, just like that. And at the top here, it will say ADT plugin for Eclipse. So if I scroll down at this page, you should see this one appearing. A link will be in the description for this as well. If you if you can't find this or and can't see the quality, you should be able to see it's HD. So um, you want to copy this. You want to hit Control C, or right click, and hit Copy, and then minimize that and type it in here. So HTTPS slash slash blah 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 blah, and that's the Eclipse plugin. You want to hit the Add button, and the location should appear right here. Now you want to give it a name. I'm going to give mine Android ADT. Hit OK. Like this. It'll say Pending. And Development Developer Tools. You just click there. You just check that box, box and you click Next. Now we're installing all of the Android tools. And this will take a little while. So I'm going to pause the recording. And I'm going to be back once this have installed. Actually, this gives us a little bit of time to talk about what we're going to go through in the in the next couple of tutorials. Uh, first of all, um, we I might post this after a while anyway, but um, in the first couple of tutorials, um, after setting everything up, we're just going to go through the basics of um, XML. What XML is, is uh, a programming language which allows you pretty much to, to transport things. Now, that sounds a little bit strange. And you're probably not going to understand how I mean with that uh, at any point in time, but that's actually how XML works. It's kind of transporting things between different languages and stuff. So XML is in Android for setting up simple buttons and stuff. Uh, later on, we're, when we're going to create games, we're not going to use any XML. We're just going to do everything in Java. So I hi highly recommend you to go watch my Java tutorials as well if you want to learn some Java as well. But I'm going to try to learn some Java in these tutorials as well. So, hope you enjoyed this series. Just going to pause. And by magic, the whole thing is extracted. 
there we go so as you can see right here it should look like look like this install details review the items um, to be installed and then we hit next and now um, here is where the installate the actual in installation comes in uh, because what we did before was uh, Eclipse was, was like searching for for um, all the plugins at locations and stuff so we're gonna hit I accept the terms of of the license agreement and just hit finish installing software it's gonna go quite fast but there is one more install after this that we have to do and that's the the versions of the Android just hit OK and um, in a second in a second um, Eclipse will ask you to restart and um, again by magic oh wait <laughs> yeah really by magic this time didn't even pause the recording so it's gonna ask ask you for restarting the Eclipse so hit restart now and it will restart Eclipse for you Eclipse No, no. All right, I see. All right. So I got the YouTube Android. Just gonna open that up again. Hit enter, and things should load. There we go. So now once it's loaded up, we can start installing the last things. This is the last things we have to install, and then I'm gonna gonna cut it to the next tutorial where we're actually gonna start developing things. Now, the last thing we need to install is the Android things itself. So we're gonna go over to the opens, um, opens the Android SDK manager. It should look like this. And now, what we wanna install here, just gonna see if I can close some of these things off. Whoa, close. <laughs> there we go, so we can actually see what's here. You can see that there's a variety of different things here. We got the Android 1.5, 1.6, 2.1, and your Android, if you have an Android phone, also have version. And uh, the API levels are basically, um, it's like libraries. It's different libraries, or it's, it's things, it's built up with different Java classes. And if you've been watching, if you've been following along my Java Beginners tutorial series, you should know what a class is. And it's basically libraries or things that's holding a lot of code, a lot of code, which you can use to make your Android development easier, or you will actually need to, to use it sometimes. You won't really need, but it would be thousands and thousands of rows of code if you were write it by hand. So that's why why we're having the APIs here. Now we're gonna install the Android 2.1. And if you have an earlier device, an Android 1.1 or 1.3, whatever, then it should show up if you if you do that or something like that. Um, well, no, probably not. Um, um, I think we can do that. Yep, there we go. So if if you, if you click this ob obsolete thing, um, you will get more versions. You can see the Android 1.1. The API level of two, so that's very, very old. So, if you want to develop for these kind of phones, um, this API level of two will work for all the API levels above. the The API level of five will work for all of these versions, but won't work. Or, or all classes in the, or everything in the 1.6, for example, will not work for these two because there are some changes. So you want to make sure that you develop for a nice version. We're going to develop for the Android 2.1. I'm going to click there. And hit the install three packages. And make sure that you check the extra folder and the tools as well. There are some things that we that we might need. So I'm going to check the tools, the Android 2.1, and the extras. Now hit install three packages. Hit accept all and hit install and now this will take a little bit of time so again by magic all the packages are installed so as you can see right here now once we've finished doing this we there's one last thing I want to do today actually so we're gonna close this window down because now we've installed everything that we need in order to, to develop Android things 
Now, you got two options. One thing that I'm probably in the future going to make a tutorial of is how to run it on your phone. If you install this on a Linux device, you don't have to use special special USB things, but everything should you, you should find everything on the on the Google development page anyway. I'll leave a link in the dis description below uh, if you want to check that out before I make my tutorial for that. So, if you don't if if you don't have an Android device or you don't want to use it or you don't can you're not able to use it what we can do is click this little button open opens the Android virtual device manager now these are em emulators already got one here can delete that actually um, but what a what a virtual device is or an emulator is something that you can use in order to run Android things on your computer so it's basically a little, a little window that will pop up and it will look like exactly like an Android device so we're gonna click new here and it will give us this little window right here so we're gonna have to give this device a name I'm gonna call this you uh, look Sava standard now the target what version we want this device to have Oh, we got the 1.6, that's cool, but since we're using 2.1, why not use the 2.1 as well? Now, to this size, it's going to go 1,000 megabytes for virtual memory. Now, that's a lot, I know, but I like big things. Actually, let's go with 200. <laughs> I'm just joking. Um, it would be stupid to use one one gigabyte for this, so... Um, we we'll only need like actually only 100, but 200 seems good. So then, what we can do is to go down here at the bottom. Actually, let's go with 300 just for fun. <laughs> Took me a lot of time to choose that. So now everything should should be working. You can choose skin. Just can go with the default one. Then you click Create AVD, Android Virtual Device. Now if you click this little button right here and click Start, this little other one, the other window will pop up. I'm just showing you how to start it. And we're going to click scale display to real size. Type in 5 or 6. going to go 5. And um, else this window is going to be huge. Take take up my whole screen space here. And even the one above that you guys can't see because I'm not recording at the top of my screen. So, going to go with 5. Hit launch. And the emulator. Can't move my emulator is now starting. It's going to be a lot of black windows and uh, finally the emulator will start. Now I'm too lazy to just wait here so I'm going to end the tutorial right here but in the next tutorial this emulator should be loaded up and we can start coding and the first thing that we're going to do is to make a simple button in XML and some simple text. So we're just going to cut it here. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you again next time. Goodbye. And don't forget to subscribe, of course, and do common stuff, and um, rate, and like, and favor, and yeah, all that good stuff. <laughs> Bye.